The, the nah, Suns made a few trades. One of them is dumping Cameron Payne's contract over to the Spurs for an exchange from two seconds. Spurs, but, y'all got to start cutting some people. Um, I saw y'all okay. waved. Uh, uh, Lamar Stevens. Lamar Stevens. Who should get a job. He's not terrible. He's He'll a, be a bull. We don't have a roster spot for him, unfortunately. Y'all gonna cut somebody. Y'all gonna cut Dayton Terry. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. I just heard Mike talking about Dayton Terry on his 2K team. But okay, Bradley Beal point guard. Uh, and, and yeah, Sean said that they're thinking about Bradley Beal being the full-time point guard. The only other point guards on the roster are Saban Lee and uh, uh, Jordan Goodwin, um, who's a part of the Bradley Beal trade from the Washington Wizards. And... I just thought it was interesting. Non-traditional, no traditional point guards. Of course, Kevin, Devin, and Brad are both plus the, uh, playmakers for their positions and stuff. But it is just different to see them go the route of like, no, not that they needed Chris Paul, who's like a premier point guard, but no point guards whatsoever. Just people that have played some point guard in their career. Yeah, I mean, I'm too just, surprised about it. Honestly. Yeah, it's like team game management. I, I, I could see a world where it works. Um, if it's your night, you, you handle the ball. If it's I, it, it seems like they have a cohesiveness team to where it could work. Devin Booker has shown you he could play point guard a lot. So no, but Devin, I mean, but Bradley, Bradley Beal. Well, yeah, no, he will be the point yeah, guard. I feel but like, like that's more so just like matchup oriented. Yeah, I, I think that's just because they need to put somebody at the position. I feel like it's going to be D Book and Bradley Beal mostly. Kevin Durant could just play off the ball. Oh, he's going to have the ball, but he can play mostly off the ball and still really like he could put up thirty doing that. Yeah. Same thing with the other guys. I feel like it's just more so just. You know, whoever's out there, really, what's the offense they're going to run? It's interesting. I mean, I'm a guy, I value point guard play. So, um, it's going to be def- – I'm I'm super interested to see how it pans out and if it will affect them. I think the point guard position is just – it's a vital position. It's just like, damn near like having a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Imagine an NFL roster having a quarterback by committee. Everything else they got is fantastic, but quarterback by committee probably, probably will work. I do give credit to Frank Vogel, though. I felt like when he was – Coaching the Lakers, we had a lot of good like half half court off, you know, half court sets that we ran. We just didn't always have like players to like the best shooters or whatever to execute them. If y'all you could also implement had, that, y'all also had one of the greatest point guards ever. We did, but a lot of them sets they ended up with Anthony Davis getting like a mid range. Well, he would get an ISO and a post or something off some movement, and he just probably you know might settle for like a mid range or something like that. But if, if they had a if if any of those guys was as good as LeBron. Mm-hmm. As play, I wouldn't feel because LeBron is like a point. I LeBron's a point guard to me, mm-hmm. right? So it's like I think he did run point guard that twenty twenty season. I think he, he actually did. did. You right? It was yeah. Danny yeah, Green, did. maybe KCP. I forget. He actually he, did. Yeah, he yeah. He was listed guard. as a point guard for sure. He for sure was. Yeah, yeah. And that's the one thing. Like some of the teams that don't have like tradition. I'm just saying traditional point guards that have been successful have like. Nikola Jokic, who's the greatest passing big of all time, or Draymond Green, one of the best playmaking forwards of all time. Uh, so they just don't have that super plus playmaker, and it's just going to be interesting. Now the offense is not going to suffer because of it, because of the talent. It's just so so crazy, and even around them, you're able to put like Eric Gordon in, who's the always plus three point shooter, and Kade Base Diop, who had a really good three point shooting year last year. Utah Watanabe, but it's just different, and I'm cool. I'm I'm ready for different. You know. Yeah. There's not a lot of teams that have done some stuff like this when they had this high-level talent. We've seen teams try to, like, makeshift a point guard position when they're usually bad. Like, we turn Zach Levine to a guard, point guard for a season or something like that. You never really see it at the highest level. And it's just going to be it's gonna be different. And I see a lot of people, like, confused. Not maybe not confused, but, like, thinking it's going to be the downfall of the team. And it might be. But I don't they're know, They're too man. talented for it to be the I think the, the talent is going to yeah. make it happen, bro. I think it's going to make it happen. And, and I think that's going to go a long way. They're going to be cool. We talked about that. I'm more so worried, and I, this is like the obvious thing. I'm more so worried kind of like about that, the defensive side. And that's why, like, I really don't matter that they run with more size and not put a point guard out there, have somebody like probably like a, a more defensive wing. But it seems like these teams like this, they be finding a way to defend. Like, they, if they could be middle of the pack somehow, I feel like that's a W for them. You know who it's on? Well, you got Frank Vogel, who's automatically DeAndre. Yeah, he's, he's the guy, right? And it's DeAndre Aiden being locked back in, like he was what two years ago? Was that three years ago? That two was years three ago? Three years ago. Um, it's a while. Don't ago. forget, of course, they got Bo Bo. Oh my God, I've seen like can twenty I, can, give, graphics give about me a second, Bo Bo. They are setting Bo Bo up for failure, and when I say they, I don't mean the Suns. I mean the fucking Twitter guys, the Bleach Report hiring the the contractor to make the Photoshop to put him in like a big four. 
That's that's not what Bobo is. I'm sorry they to spoil the same it. highlight reel of him and some bro, YMCA. I, listen, bro. <laughs> not even NBA. He Bo- just he dribbling Bobo around had people. He was two months early last season where he was good. He was on my fantasy team, so he was doing his thing. That he basically was out of the rotation for the Orlando Magic. Like he's gonna play. Don't get me wrong. And there's a possibility that he's good, but he hasn't been good so far. So putting him on the graphic with Booker, with Kevin Durant, <laughs> and Bradley Beal is just setting him up for <laughs> failure because we might get to the playoffs and he might not even be in the rotation at all. That's so disrespectful to Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, bro. It's like, I, yeah. I mean, shout out Eric to Bo. Good luck. Eric Gordon should have been Anybody else. <laughs> Kata Bates Diop should have been on a bitch over Bo Bo. This is, that was a surprising place for him to sign. Everybody that I talked to or Magic fans or – you know, have seen him on a team. He need real NBA rep like minutes, and they were saying he should go like rebuilding teams and really, you know, play some real minutes. But well, uh, he said he watched a lot of Kevin Durant growing up, so maybe he wanted to go and play all. with Kevin Durant. Like, like KB said, yeah, yeah. who hasn't? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it was a we- it's a weird fit, but high. I mean, low risk, high reward. I guess. Yeah, if he's good and shit, he's good, and they get to run with it, but. It don't work. And there's only one year deal. I don't want to sound like a hater. I just don't think he is going to ever be really good in the NBA. He just does sound like a hater. Is it because of the play style and his size? Like it don't mix? Just his his defense is only where I'm looking at. Mm. For a dude to be that tall, he's always in his Kenny Beecham at the YMCA mode. He's jump happy. He wants to block every single shot and he doesn't move his feet. It's like, when we talk about a team like the Suns that are trying to win a championship, you can't afford to have that when it matters the most. Mm-hmm. Early in the season, he going to get his reps in because why not? Yeah. We going to win 50, 45 games regardless. We going to make the playoffs as long as we healthy. But, like, if he is in the play, if the, the Suns are in the playoffs and Bobo get a DNP coach decision, are you surprised? No. No. So, that's what I'm they setting this man up for failure. If it works, it works. But I just don't see, like, like, like P saying, rebuilding team makes way more sense. Yeah. What were building teams would you have liked to see him go to? Literally any of them. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing him in Portland. There you go. That would have been in a good spot. I agree. Detroit? Nah. No, no, they no. They already got Wait, 12 seven footers. We has, or we has way too many bigs. Yeah. <laughs> Is he a big, though? He no, he, he wants, to play, yeah, he wants he, to play a three. He played different than What can Wimby do that Bobo can't? Remember that? <laughs> Holy shit. Remember that on Twitter? 